In today's video, I'm going to show you how to smooth skin using fragrance separation in Photoshop. In my previous video on fragrance separation, I had some questions from some of you that I will be answering in this video. My name is Akkordi here and welcome to today's video. Kindly like this video to help it rank more in YouTube's algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe too. Now let's get into the video. So we have our image here. I actually downloaded this image from the internet. All right, so as you can see, we have a lot of acne on the face. All right, so first of all, we're gonna duplicate uh, the background layer by pressing Ctrl and J. I'm gonna zoom into the image. So we're gonna use the patch tool to do this. We're gonna select the patch tool over here. Zoom in a little bit more into her face. Now we're gonna just drag circle on the acne on her face and then drag to a cleaner area. Let me zoom in a little bit more like this. So just drag, cycle, and then drag to a clean area. We're gonna repeat this to all the acne on the face just to clean it up. All right, so I'm gonna speed up this side so that the video won't be too long. So you're gonna circle, drag, and then click to deselect. Circle, drag, and click to deselect. All right, now. With her skin much clearer now, much cleaner now, let's check the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. Let me zoom in a little bit more. This is the before and this is the after. So now we're going to proceed to the next step. Uh, let me zoom out like this. So I'm going to merge these two layers into one by pressing and holding shift and then the background layer. Right click and then merge layers. All right, so we have our layers mesh together as one so let me zoom in a little bit let's inspect the image once more and then proceed to the next step so the next step is the frequency separation so we're going to create our frequency separation adjustment layers yeah so first and foremost we're going to duplicate our background layer twice by pressing ctrl and then j twice like this and we're going to hide the first layer we're going to change the second layer to color and then we're going to let me just unhide the first one and then name it to texture. Right, so we're going to proceed. We hide the first layer. That's the texture layer. We come to filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. Change the blur radius to say 4. Make sure you are not seeing any details in the image. So this is just a preview. As you can see, there are no details showing. All right, so we're gonna select OK. Now, I'm gonna make the texture layer visible. Come to Image, Applied Image, change the layer colon to Color. We keep the channel as RGB. We change the Blend Mode to Subtract. And then we change or keep the scale as 2 and then offset at 128 and we're going to select OK. Now we come to the blend mode over here as well where the texture layer is still selected and then change this to linear light. As you can see, we have our image back to how it was before. All right, so I have somebody asking me why I put a blank layer between the texture layer and then the color layer. So I'm going to create this first and I'm going to answer you very soon and change it to tones, the name to tones. All right, now I'm going to select the color layer and the texture layer and then put it in a group. So select the color layer. All right, so we're going to select our lasso tool. Zoom into the image and then start applying some Gaussian blur 
to our image so we'll circle and highlight Gaussian blur we come to filter blur Gaussian blur and then just increase the blur radius to let's say 8 yeah so we're gonna start smoothening the skin now to start like this right click Gaussian blur I think the blur radius is too much so we're gonna decrease it a little bit more to circle filter blur Gaussian blur and then just decrease let's decrease it a little bit I think 5.8 is okay so I'm gonna select it and then circle right click Gaussian blur so we're gonna do this to all her face just to create some smoothness I mostly do this to create first layer of smoothness before I move to the mixer brush tool to smoothen it a little, a little bit more. But since someone asked about the tone layer, I'm going to show you how to use the tone layer in today's tutorial. So just stick and stay. All right. Right click, Gaussian layer. Circle right click, Gaussian layer. So you're going to repeat this to all her face until you see some level of smoothness going on. Alright, so at this point, I think the blur or the smoothness over here is a little bit okay for me before and after so we're gonna go ahead and then smoothen out our skin much more so we're gonna use the mixer brush tool to do this all right so there's the settings i use wet at 100 load at 65 mix at 52 flow at 67 and then this at 10. All right so i'm gonna go ahead and then just smooth in the face so you're gonna brush that so you keep the color layer selected for this to so always make sure when smoothing the skin you're gonna smoothing only the highlights you keep the highlights and the highlights and then you keep the mid-tones and the mid-tones you're not gonna mix it up otherwise you're gonna get a different look it's not gonna be as nice as you want it All right, so as you can see, our image is looking much smoother. The skin is looking much smoother compared to before. Zoom out. Now let's check the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. This is the before and the after. But let me zoom in more and then do some cleanups. That's simply how to smoothen the skin. In Photoshop using frequency separation. All right, so I want to answer the question on how or the reason why we create this tone over here. So what we normally do is sometimes you finish doing your frequency separation and everything and you realize some colors are not blending in properly or the tones are not even. So we use this to create a more even tone on our, on our image. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the brush to keep the opacity very low like this. 26 is okay. Flow at 20. Let's give it at 25. Then we're gonna zoom out. We're gonna press and hold the uh, Alt key to sample the place that you wanna even the tone out. All right. So we're gonna sample it like this, and then just brush. Let's check the before and after from this side. So this is the before and this is the after. This is the before and after. So you can go ahead and then just smooth in things up a little bit more. Just making sure the tones are much balanced or the tones are much consistent in your image. So that is exactly what this 
tone layer over here does. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.